Welcome aboard, I'm Jason Navarro. This is 60 Parsecs, a space adventure game from the guys who brought you 60 Seconds. This time, we're leaving the atomic wastelands of Earth and traveling into deep space with a crew of people that we must rescue from an exploding space station. Welcome to the Astro Citizen program. In order to ensure your comfort during your stay, please adjust the settings of your cabin. It's, it's pretty good as is, I would say so anyway. Yeah. Oh, pick an Astro Citizen Cadet. Uh, gosh. You know, you know, Dee Dee looks like she has her stuff together. She looks like the most organized of the of this little duo here. Uh, the bags under the eyes means that uh, she's always watching to make sure that things are fine for everybody. So I think that's the kind of person I want on my team. Alert! Nuclear apocalypse imminent. Thank you for letting me know. Executing order. 1961. Execute protocol initiated. Commence Astra Citizen emergency drill and brace for nuclear impact. But first, this motivational poster. So I imagine it's going to be a lot like 60 seconds. You gather together the people and the supplies, and then you just try to survive all of the randomized events. But in this one, you get at least a sense of uh, progress being made because you get to go out into space. So, here we are. Welcome to Icarus 13, Astro Citizen. Grab some soup. You'll need some rations to survive. And also panic and bump into stuff. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I had the soup. Where's the soup? I'm getting the... Oh, drop it into the escape shuttle. That's as much soup as they're going to allow me to carry. Blah! Find some medical supplies. Oh, they're they're being very generous. Actually, this is this is quite nice. I like the fact that uh, you you get a little bit of a of a uh, a primer on how to survive the nuclear apocalypse. Find the handbook. Okay. Wow. You look like you're in the middle of yelling at somebody's manager. So I'll just leave you to that. Find the handbook. Find the handbook. Find the handbook. Find the handbook. 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 Where are you? Handbook. Where are you? I need a handbook. To figure out how to fix all the stuff I'm breaking. Is this my room? I get a corner office? Wow, I must be a really important person. Alright, uh, but where's that gosh darn handbook? Ah! I don't have time for blocks. Oh, there it is, hidden behind that old footlocker over there. These guys do know that there is a nuclear apocalypse going on, right? Like, right now? Here's some oh, crafting supplies? I didn't know you'd do crafting in this game. Find a crewmate. Um, you know what? We're, we're probably gonna need your your uh, big set of lungs to yell at anybody who comes by to rescue us. Alert! Alert! Why? What's it? Ah, uh, high risk of impact. Okay. Um. Um. Uh. Grab whoever and whoever you can help for the escape shuttle. Okay. Uh. Oh gosh! It's happening right now. Uh. I still have a space left. I don't even know what that is. That takes up too much. Of my time. Okay, gotta throw that guy on there. And there was somebody over here, too. There's a ray gun and a shovel. I imagine that that'll come in quite handy. There was a dude over here. Here's some soup and soup and two slow slots for... Oh, he's extra big. He's a big guy. He's an absolute unit. Okay, great. I don't know what that is. I only got 30 seconds left already. Gotta go, go, go. Big boy, you're coming with me. And uh, one more can of soup. And then you're gonna drop it in. I wonder if I can get the last guy, too. Let's go ahead and see. There's gonna be, like, hard mode. Yeah! Go! Nope. It's, it's already full. Sorry, dude. Can't quite worry about you right now. I got a lot more on my mind. Woo! 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 I'm here! I'm here! Inside! Oh. Hands full. All seats taken. Good job, me. Let me pat myself on the back, since nobody else is left alive to do it. Come on, Astro Citizen, light the galaxies. I did not bring a lighter. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Day one of our space journey. Who do we got? We got Tom Thompson looking dreamily at uh, our hunk, Baby Bronco. And Megan Man, Ma Magan, Magan Man. Magat Hagendas and Didi Dawkins, and I am caffeinated up the wazoo. All right, what do we do? Main computer, check the star log first. 
Where's the star log? I imagine that's it. Ha ha! Hi! Astro Computerized Assistant, reporting for duty. You must be Didi, right? I am pleased to announce that according to my data, you qualify to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the slight inconvenience of being blown 60 parsecs away from Earth. Recommended course of action. Find a safe place to land on, then try to contact the outside world. Please power up the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. Good luck, you are going to need it, Captain. So, am I actually qualified or does the computer just pick people? And how much soup? We have seven soup. Great, best food in the universe, excellent. I like, I like having best food. We have a spacesuit, that's fine. And we have a handbook on how to survive the universe and we got a gun! in case any of us get really depressed. Captain, this is the first day of your command and your interstellar voyage. An inspiring speech is in order. Everyone is really looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. This is it. You can really show what breed of captain you will be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Uh, what is this? Intelligence, agility, or strength? Well, I got a lot of agility. What? How is agility gonna help me make- am I gonna do an interpretive dance or something? But apparently that's my best skill, so let's go ahead and drop it in. Decision made. Cool. Tom Thompson. Everybody's okay. Uh, we don't need to ration soup to anybody yet. Uh, Alright, I guess that's day one. Why do we have a sock puppet? Is that to help with our, uh, our sanity levels? I imagine so. Day two. Never before has anyone given a speech so determined and to the point. Not any space captain, at least. You spoke of making your own luck and surviving. It really sounded like you knew what you were talking about. Did you? That was quite a performance, Captain. Yeah, see? Interpretive dance. It always helps. Your crew started cheering even before you were finished. Long live the captain filled the cabin. If any sound could travel through the soundless void outside the hull of your ship, that would be it. One thing is for sure, you are ready for any challenge this galaxy throws at you. Tom reported being glad to have you as his captain. Well, that's great, considering that I'm sitting on the blind side of Tom, so he probably is just assuming that Baby Bronco is the captain. Captain, it is important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious food is enough to sustain a human for a few days. I doubt we'll find any other useful rations here, in space. Don't forget to keep good inventory of your stock, unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Ha 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 ha! That was a joke! Please appreciate it and laugh. Thank you for your cooperation, Captain. Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. Well, Megan seems like she has everything in order, at least in uh, mental faculty speaking. Good news, Captain. It came pre stocked to that because we're the flat or that. Use it well. We have plus V, blah, blah, blah. Blah, <coughs> The routine supply check is complete. Well, well, look at that. The numbers add up. Current number of soup cans is 10. So we get three extra soup cans. Oh, 12. Additional foodstuffs were delivered to the shuttle instead of entertainment supplies. Lucky you. The food you collected is more than sufficient for now. Just don't eat it all at once. All right, so what are our decisions to be made? Uh, everybody's okay. Nobody really needs... I don't I don't know what the soup... What the, what the sock puppet's for. So I'm just going to assume that everything's fine. Captain, the crafting module is now active. It lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is some materials. Uh, use it to craft, repair, and upgrade. Okay, great. There, uh, there it is. All right, so the sock puppet is plus 10 rocks. Handbook is plus 10 science. Shovel, da da da. The artifact is plus 10 sciencey stuff. Let's see what we can actually craft. Ooh, we can craft a lighter. And a communicator, that sounds actually very useful. I feel like a communicator is gonna be uh, handy. How long is that gonna take anyway? Hopefully not too long. Either way, I think we're done. Day four. So we have a phone. I told you I activated the crafting system. Yeah, I, I just used it. I just used it. Are you, are you blind or something, computer? I mean, I know you don't have any optical ports or anything, but come on. Space travel can be dull, but there are tons of ways to make your own fun. Trust me, I live in a computer. Let's design a game. Your game will need a core mechanic. What kind of game will you design? I'm gonna make Shovel Knight. And is there anything else to craft? Oh, we have... 
Oh, minerals, power, and chemicals. Uh, so we need power to upgrade stuff. We can upgrade the crafting module. Okay, but how are we supposed to get power? That's gonna be really something. I don't have anything to, uh, I don't want to recycle anything just yet. Seems like all this stuff is gonna come in really handy. And it looks like each little clock is how many days it'll take to, uh, finish. System unavailable, that's locked right now, okay. Whatever. New day. A new day has dawned. I mean, technically it's always dawn. And dusk. And night. And noon. And morning and evening in space. Because we're surrounded by stars. You designed your gamer on the shovel. The core mechanic was Tag. You, being the captain, were always it. You chased the rest of the shuttle around the, the crew around the shuttle trying to smack them in the head. You played until no one wanted to play with you anymore. Still, the mood on the shuttle lightened. Probably because I whacked everybody so hard that they have forgotten the horrible situation that we're in. I am in peak mental condition. People are hungry? Well, we're all hungry. We gotta keep the soup. We gotta extend it on for, a little, for at least a little bit longer. At least until we land, anyway. What's that you're drawing, Captain? I understand you're fed up with soup and reminiscing about Earth food. I would advise you don't go down that road. I have a useful program for just this occasion. It's called Everything is Not All Peaches and Cream. It should help you focus your mind on different things. Yes, let us begin this program. And the day. Success! Your culinary urges have been kept under control. We spent the afternoon talking about things other than food, and then circled back to agree on the many merits of tomato soup. Now, we should probably focus on surviving the mission at hand, wouldn't you say? Life is but a bowl of cherries, without any peaches and cream at all. All you get is cherries. Nothing but cherries. Do you like cherries? Well then, this is the perfect life for you. I'm not sure what that means, but my programming tells me it should make you feel better. Well, thank you, computer. You are my favorite... Oh. Uh... I think we got tape. At least I'm... Do we have any tape anywhere at all? I feel like we're gonna need the lighter. Seeing as we just used the shovel. Oh, the shovel's fine. Well, whatever. Something seems to be troubling you, Captain. I've registered you staring outside the window into the endless void. Did you lose something? I see. You are remembering Earth. It was nice before the nuclear barbecue. I could switch off for a moment, Captain. Do you wish to have a moment to yourself? Yeah. Sure, I'll be alone with the artifact for a little while. I'm sure that will be fine out here in space. Where everybody's insane already. Am I gonna start worshipping the golden calf? I have created a lighter so we can start worshipping fire instead. You've been worried about something, Captain, but it seems those troubles are behind you. I am not surprised by your choice to find comfort with the Astro Citizen issued artifact. It is guaranteed to resolve any and all emotional issues. I can't tell if it was the mumbling or the juggling that helped, but I am glad to see you're doing better. Alright, so now I got a lighter and everybody needs to eat something. Everybody gets a soup. Wait, no. Everybody who is starving gets a soup. Dee Dee is only hungry. So we're, g what's this? Hello there, Captain. Might I ask why you are going through the files? You're not really meant to see the de contents of my digital storage unit. Huh, Protox, that's a fun file. Just please don't, what have you done? You've run the uh, program. Protocol X initiated. It was meant to be an experiment. The consequences of initiating the protocol will be severe. Um, use my smarts to, to do something, hopefully, something that won't kill everybody. What's what's happening next? DD? DD, what have you done with our lab? What has happened? What 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 buttons has she pushed? Despite your best efforts, you weren't able to stop Protocol X. A fear agent has been released to the ventilation shaft, which is why you thought giant ants were crawling all over the ship. Sorry, Captain. There's a lot of protocols devised by masterminds that should never be initiated. I'm afraid your entire crew will need counseling. It's no wonder your sanity has been shaken. Oh, it seems my, my vocabulary has been shaken as well. There's no avoiding that, I'm afraid. Well, everybody's still glad to have me as captain, so we're pretty good, I think. Uh, but what next? Your attention is required. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them, and more importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference, or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher these signals. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know. Um, who's good at smart stuff? 
Probably Megan. She knows how to handle things on the phone. I saw it. I was a witness to her skills with, uh, with IT and everything. Megan? Megan, you're screaming better not have let me down. First contact. Ooh. Captain, you need to see this. This is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone. We are... Uh, we proud aliens. I don't mean the Reds. It's something we have never seen before. A number of... There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. Oh! So, we're going to have an actual nice adventure. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Uh, your life will never be the same, Captain. You are hungry. Okay, well... As long as we're not starving, we need to keep... We need to land at some point. Uh, can you hear my teeth chattering? Of course you don't, because I'm a computer and I have no teeth. Duh! Still, I regret to inform you the heat module is stuck. It's gonna get very cold very soon. My vacuum tubes will be fine, but you should protect yourself. Well, good thing I crafted that lighter then. I don't know what a teeny tiny little lighter is gonna do, but you know what? As long as there's light, there is hope. Or at least that's what I heard from Frodo Baggins in Lord of the Rings. Frodo Baggins, your advice? Has kept us alive. The heat module has reset to factory settings and is running on its tropical setting. Why don't we make the lighter a heat module backup system? It worked today. It will again. Okay. Great. Great. And it's still there. We have everything. Everything is still fine. Ration soup to everybody because we're all about to start dying anyway. It looks like Dee Dee can go just a little bit longer without uh, soup than everybody else. Captain, the wondrous Astro Citizen Mini Reactor needs its regular coolant flush. The magnificent machine occupies only two thirds of shuttle storage and weighs less than a 20 ton truck. So, about 19.5 tons. Truly a marvel of space age miniaturization. To flush the coolant pipes, you must hum the Star Spangled Banner while rubbing the coolant pipes for two hours straight. Tom is idle. Do you want to ask him to begin the flushing process? Tom, you're a real patriot, right? You got soft hands. I'm sure the computer will appreciate that. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. And I gave everybody soup so we're not all dead, right? Right. Okay. So now we only have four cans of soup. That's gonna be fun. Tom gladly obliged when you asked to flush out the mini reactor's coolant pipes. He went the extra mile, collecting residual coolant from the pipes. Tom spotted a crack in one of the mini-reactor pipes and managed to rectify the situation. Close call, Captain. Good. Okay, it's time for a life or death challenge. The most important task available, mopping the floor. Why is that a star for strength? From specks of melted tar to rubber scuff marks, the place could do with a good scrubbing. Oh. Oh, baby Bronco. He's got a star. He's got a, he got a gold star in strength. You'll get an extra gold star if you do if you go ahead and do that for us, baby Bronco. Baby. Baby Bronco. Mop me up some flooring. Friend zone. What does that mean? Is he my friend now? You ordered baby to get on all fours and scrub the floor clean. Just what a perfect extra citizen leader would do, ma'am. That is two very oddly worded situations. Is there is there some hanky panky going on in this shuttle that I don't really know about? Being the respectful crewmate he is, Baby was keen to help and worked away at even the smallest pockmarks down there on the floor. Cleaner shuttle, happier citizens. So everybody's happy with me, even though we're all on the verge of starving to death. Even Megan. Me How are you keeping all that? Did you bring a Did you bring a makeup kit aboard, Megan? I'm disturbed, Captain. You reported hearing a child crying somewhere, but my sensors don't show anybody accounted for. Certainly no stowaway children. This may be an auditory hallucination. The other possibility is my sensors are malfunctioning and there really is a stowaway. Sir, shuttle, yeah. Yeah, I might just turn out to be one more mouth to feed. But. We're all about to die anyway. Might as well, might as well bring the kid in for uh, a little bit of, uh, of, uh, I don't know. I don't know what good, what, what good are kids anyway. You and the crew tried to find the source of the mystery child's cries. But after sifting through every crate, you didn't find anyone. It was a stress-related auditory hallucination. I'm not surprised. But we are still mentally stable. And everybody's starving. Okay. The, uh... Okay. The planet's just ahead. And we're gonna have to eat. And we're gonna go ahead and initiate the landing protocol. It's covered in a giant storm. 
Indistinct heat signatures and a multitude of structures. A thunderous world is probably an improvement under this mind-bogglingly empty vacuum. I agree. I agree. That sounds like fun. Hopefully it won't end up like No Man's Sky. Where uh, you land on a crazy planet that's so hostile, you end up dying before you even manage to craft the stuff to get off. That did not look like a safe landing at all. Oh, great! Fabonos! 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 Okay. Our descent towards the storm ridden planet, crewmate Thompson piped up and said he recognized the storm below. Looks like our predictions for Earth after a Soviet nuclear attack. But with you in command, we can weather anything. We beautifully directed our craft away from particularly green parts of the atmosphere and onto a safe resting spot on the planet. Unfortunately, atmospheric electricity fried the communicator. Oh, great. Tom log looked out and realized this wasn't at all like a Soviet attack. The planet's surface has experienced a number of wars of traumas, nuclear, and otherwise this was the worst idea ever. We are all gonna die. Our ship is broken. We are doomed. The communicator is broken. Everything is broken. Is there any way to repair... Oh, it looks like the communicator is fine, actually. But the handbook is not doing, not doing so hot. Let's fix that with some science. The expedition module is now available. Order someone to put the spacesuit on and send them outside. Let the space colonization commence. Okay. Warhead town, radio zone, and a glade. Uh, let's go to the glade. Chance for minerals. Hazards. Grass. We might encounter grass. Mother of God. But there's more. Science and artifact. Warhead Town, science, okay, we can get science, a artifact, or a thingamabobber, or a sock puppet. You know, the glade might actually be better, me best. I, that seems to be the safest, and we'll get minerals. We still have enough science to do a little bit of stuff. Let's do some minerals, and we'll send Baby Bronco on out there. Uh... Megan. What is what is that anyway? I'm assuming it's some kind of boggy terrain. So maybe agility will help with that? Strength and yeah, agility and intelligence, yeah. Uh go ahead and give him the ray gun and Oh, okay. Wait a minute. If there's bad terrain out there, wouldn't a shovel be better? I don't know. I really don't know. Let's go ahead and send Baby Bronco out there, since he has, he at least has some passing knowledge of um, of uh, what you call it, it, it agility. So hopefully he'll end up being okay. All right, here we go. I can only hope that we actually find some soup, because that would be bad. We're already out, and I haven't... I didn't see any on the uh, expedition thingy. The ultimate answer is soup. I told you I started the crafting uh, system. Yeah, I know. Baby went for a stroll to the strange northern forest. Let's hope he doesn't enter any gingerbread houses. We've repaired the handbook, and now we have a hanger. Uh... Let's go ahead and craft some soup, since we're going to... Mm. We're gonna need it in a couple of days. I'm detecting a leak in the coolant system. I don't have a mask, so I... C <laughs> I should not... Okay. You should not inhale anything that comes out of the reactor. Well, we don't really have a choice. We're just gonna have to hope that we can huff the stuff, huff and puff, and, uh, and you know, get, get some... Get some nice... Not get some nice... Uh, what? I don't know any slang for drugs. Okay, so we have soup... Everybody's 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 soupless, starving, weak. Um, let's go ahead and save. Everybody's loyal, but Tom is my friend, so I'll I'll give him the soup. There's some space spring chores that are necessary. The equipment safety and evaluation. One of these checks is now overdue. We should check some of our gear. And Megan seems idle. Is there anything she should check? The communicator. Go ahead. Don't break it, or else I'll kill you. So that's a big change, I noticed. You know, a whole can of soup. It's a whole can of soup. Uh, Megan went one further. She noted how improvements could be made and went ahead and gave our equipment a shiny enhancement. 
Great. Too bad we can't use it for anything. Because this is a war-torn hellhole. But yeah, an entire can of soup is now needed to uh, give people uh, their uh, daily dose. Some kind of anomaly is sweeping over us. It's a sort of space-time affecting fog. Do you see that outside? I didn't think it was possible for a computer to hallucinate, but you see it? The giant kettle? It's asking us if we've met the sock lady. Does that ring any kettle bells, Captain? Yes, it does. I think we have a sock puppet in here. So, please give us food. So for now, we've had one person, we've had one day go by where everybody's starving. Okay, they can starve for several days. That's good to know. It proceeded to spout some stuff about Lucy, about not discussing Lucy. It didn't make much sense. The anomaly blew shortly away afterwards, leaving the dead plains of the wretched world in its stead. And I only just realized the thing was speaking English. Baby has returned from the glade. You get comfortable as we get to tell the story. He is... Oh my gosh, we got over 40 minerals. What an eerie but fruitful experience. From the bottom of a shimmering pond and the glimmering sand near a bomb site. He used a shovel to dig out some of the tough material. And it's broken now. Great. Uh, but we don't have any soup. So... Everybody's gonna start dying. Everybody, everybody's gonna start dying. Why do we need science to make soup? That's, that's, that's the one thing I want to know. We definitely don't have any power. No resources for the... Wouldn't you need, like... It's a shovel, okay? What What is there? What science is there behind a shovel? That's like... That's like one step above a stone hatchet, okay? I'm pretty sure if you showed a shovel to some cavemen, they'd be able to figure out how to fix it. Maybe we can get some tape together. That would work. And we're still starving. Everybody's still starving. Uh, we, are una we are able to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Uh... The communications console was damaged and can't make anything out of them or reply. We could hardwire a primitive field communicator. Well, yeah, that's what we have it for, and that's why we upgraded it, right? So, please, nobody die. Everybody, just hold your horses. If you feel like dying, just, just put a pin on it. Just put a pin in it. Put it up on the cork board. And, wow, you guys can last a long time without food. Hello, world. And we just used up the entire communicator. Someone will find us. Eventually. Great. The crew is visibly excited. Now we have duct tape. And still... Nothing. Well, let, let's let's craft our communicator back first, though. Uh, I am a machine, and machines cannot hear voices. A two-dimensional species. How will you defend us, Captain? With a, sh a lighter. The lighters, the lighters uh, prove to be quite a... Quite a friend so far, so let's go ahead and see how it fares. I mean, if they're two-dimensional, that basically makes them paper, right? And the one thing that's more effective against paper than scissors is fire. A two-dimensional species invaded your ship. You couldn't see them until you turned on a lighter. Suddenly, the empty space around you cast a multitude of shadows on every wall. Invisible to the 3D world, most of the time they couldn't handle the spotlight. Bashfully, they slipped out one by one. Staring might be impolite, but apparently rudeness wins battles. You all look bolder and stand a little straighter since that victory. You are still facing starvation. Okay, so they start starving, and then their health goes down, and then they die. I could have stretched the, uh, I could have stretched out this, the, the, the soup for a lot longer, apparently. Dee Dee is a former child athlete whose promising career was ended by an untimely injury. As an adult, she struggles to reinvent herself. She joins the Astro Citizen program in hopes of beginning, oh, this is our, uh, our dudes. Okay, so, agility flexible, agility uh, clever, so Megan is smart. And so is Dee Dee. Wimpy strength. Tom Thompson is also clever. Average strength, stiff agility, so not very good at movement. But he's okay at strength and intelligence. Bronco is literally just a tough guy. Okay. Great. Uh... Please tell me this has anything to do with soup. We are receiving a coded transmission. Yes. I did not know that you could stretch the soup out that long. We're going to start dropping like flies now. I just assumed that when you hit starving, that meant that the next day you were going to die. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's Hi, bye, Megan. I, I, I just died. I just, I just died. Wow. You kicked the bucket. Cause of death. Starvation. Your stomach remains empty. Eat something. Well, maybe someone can suck the marrow out right of my bones. All right. Let's try that again. See if we can last a little longer than 60 parsecs. Tw uh, 21 days survived. 
we had one successful expedition and one of 12 locations discovered. Great. So that means there's, there must be like four planets if there's three locations on each one. We consumed 13 cans of food. That's stupid. I'm stupid. Let's try to not be stupid and do that again. Okay. Uh, let's grab some crafting materials. Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope. nope. Uh, oh, and there's the mask. That should come in handy. Let's grab that and grab that. And let's move over here because I can see the shovel. Hey, there's uh, baby Bronco. And there's the artifact. It's, it takes up two spots. Are you kidding me? Okay, just throw him in there. Let's go ahead and grab Tom and the shovel so I can see him. Oh, there's a the communicator. Uh, the shuttle came in. Uh, the shovel came in very handy. So let's go ahead and grab that again. Throw that in there. And then there was some extra good stuff in there. The communicator and the gun. Oh my gosh, it takes up three spots. That's a lot. We're not going to have time for anything. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, is there anybody? Is there any, who's, who else is left? Uh, Didi. Didi, I'll grab. I'll, I'll grab oh, oh no. I'm about to explode. Woo! I exploded. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, let's, the goal of the game is to not die, so, let's try that one more time. Oh gosh, that took so, that takes so much time. Oh my gosh, I won't be able to grab the minerals, but that's fine. I can, I can find minerals elsewhere. Okay, just grab gun, and Megan, get over here. Toss you in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole, everybody in the hole. Handbook, soup, and soup. Okay, we've only got 20 seconds left. Oh, uh, who's left? Who's left? Who's left? There's Tom, and there's the communicator. Grab the communicator. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh my gosh, I forgot. It takes, it takes five. It takes, it takes three slots. We, there's no time. We're gonna have to do without the communicator now. Ah, oh, that's, that's so stressful. It takes three takes three slots for the communicator. That's probably because it's so gosh darn useful. And all we have is, do, do we actually have any minerals? No, all we have is power resources. But we'll probably be able to craft a communicator anyway. Uh, at least that way we'll be able to contact help and have a, uh, a rescue coming. Even if it's not entirely a human one. We're missing three. Three flippin' power to upgrade the crafting module. I really wanted to know how that actually works out. Uh, could this be boredom? Could you at least pretend you're having a good time? Yeah, if we use the sock puppet. That's exactly what I grabbed it for. So that first run, it looks like we... The game was going easy on us, basically. When we got all that extra soup, because we don't have a whole lot of soup at all anymore. Uh... Yesterday started pretty slow and boring, but you managed to turn around with a sock puppet show. The only puppet you had was the sock, so it was more of a monodrama than anything else. It was still a very powerful spectacle, probably the best in this part of the galaxy. In fact, it was so intense, the sock is now unusable. Just another sacrifice in the name of art, but it makes us in peak mental condition. What exactly were we using the sock for? I feel kind of sorry for the sock now. You found a holographic chess set on board. Oh, it's like regular chess, but holographic. Because it doesn't play use physical pieces, I can totally play with you. You'll have to input my moves, but just remember, I control the airflow the way you sleep at night. You better not cheat is what I'm saying. Well, good thing I grabbed Emmett. Meaning that I can defeat the computer at its own game. So it'll either be happy and give us a reward, or it'll be angry and kill us all. I can't believe you defeated me. The computer always wins. I'm tempted to sh turn this ship into a pile of smoking space junk. Please don't, but good game. Aside from me having the burning desire to kill you, the mood around here feels lighter, doesn't it? Everyone's in high spirits. I guess brutally crushing the soul of your beloved ship's AI will do that. Yes! Yes, I'm actually quite glad that I managed to make a computer feel awful. Well, this night just got interesting. A nightmare wakes you up. You suddenly realize you are not alone. You make out a silhouette. You can't ignore it, Captain. What do you do? Well, it, apparently I can just ignore it, but I'll use the lighter just in case. That was a fun night, Captain. You noticed something standing in the shadows. It didn't move, it just stared. Terrified, you used the lighter to see the mysterious visitor. And believe it or not, it turned out to just be a mask hanging on a coat rack. Oh, I have a mask. Great, okay, that's good. 
That's good. That's very good. Random events that give me random stuff are always welcome in games like this. Long-term space travel presents many risks. Uh, I've seen the crew's physical fitness decline since our little sojourn. I am recommending a daily regimen of movements that are use only your own body weight. You don't need any equipment. Any volunteers for a workout so I can make somebody improve their strength? Okay. Okay. Let's make Tom a little bit tougher. Since he's already average at strength, then he should be able to actually equal Bucky's uh, power level once the training is over with. Tom's form was impeccable. He even added weight by lifting the spare parts for the shuttle. Sweaty and roaring, Tom crushed that workout like an empty can of soup. A hidden dispenser opened and spit out two soup cans. I'm sorry to report these are only two surplus cans hidden aboard this ship. Or are they? <laughs> okay, good. Good. So everybody's hungry. Nobody's starving just yet, though. We're on day six and nobody's starving, which is fine. Uh, yeah, I need a moment to myself, but I don't have an artifact. Which isn't great, because it means that mental health is going to deteriorate a little bit. Let's try not to land on the hellish storm planet next time, okay? See? Yep, yep. Everybody's going nuts. You're a starving captain. It's pretty obvious Baby has lost his mind. Megan went nuts. Everybody's gone insane. What are these? What are, what's, what's this? What is this? Your retention is required. I cannot identify the transmissions. It might be a solar flare interference or worse. A new t uh, okay. Let's put myself in charge of monitoring communications because uh, I'm so smart. Well, I mean, I gave you guys a sock puppet show, and this is how you repay me? You still go insane anyway? What was the use of even bringing it aboard? Uh, a landing spot. T4, so four days? That's not super great. So a whole ship full of lunatics is about to... Oh, I'm the only sane one. I'm the only sane one around here. Oxygen levels dropping. We have a malfunctioning filter. I don't know who named it. Uh, Moscow for short. Uh, you should fix it. You can reach Moscow from the zero-g space between the hull and the outer deck. Uh, myself then. I'm smart and also flexible. Right? At least I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, let's see. Where's the... I know there was a... Yeah. Flexible. Yes. And he's also a genius. Which means that I should be able to uh, fix this post-haste. Uh, an obscene hand drawing on a wall showed a Soviet and an American. You blushed furiously, then tripped into a mass of wires like a fork, diving into a spaghetti plate. You forgot to pause the airflow before removing the filter. When carbon dioxide hit you, you made a face not unlike the Soviet in that drawing. Surely some brain cells died, but at least the filter is fixed. A worthy sacrifice. So you have three days, and um, people are starving. Um... Let's go ahead and give everybody... Oh, what is this? Let's go ahead and get everybody some soup. Because I don't know if health is very much connected to whether or not you die. But uh, we'll see. Now we have a mask to fix the reactor. Great. I mean, we're already crazy. We don't need to go huffing any weird fumes to make things even worse, right? I cannot determine if you actually read the Fixer Reactor Astro Citizen leaflet, or you just made random motions trying to see anything through the mask, but the leak is no, no more. Two days left. Everybody's hungry, but whatever. We're a little behind on our most recent check, but with all the interstellar interloping. Is there anything he should check? Uh, A lighter, maybe? Or the handbook? Or the gun? Let's check the lighter. That's come in handy for more than one thing so far. So, might as well try to upgrade that. Uh, Olivia, this isn't the take all day laundromat. Bring me my coffee. Captain Megan keeps shouting at someone named Olivia. She may have been one of Megan's employees back on Earth. She's having a psychotic delusion. Will you play along with the lighter? Yes. I'm sure that playing with fire with a complete insane person will have absolutely no bad repercussions whatsoever. I am absolutely certain that by the time this screen lights up again, something very, very good will have happened. And nobody's dead. There you go. You warmed up some safe to drink shuttle, shuttle coolant and gave it to Megan, pretending it was coffee, and that you were her ever apologetic former employee, Olivia. Megan let the episode slide, but reminded you, as long as you were her employee, you should try to do better. Okay. Everybody's starving again, so, uh... 
We could probably try to... Let's go ahead and wait a day. There's a planet down there. It's harsh and unwelcoming, but that beast being stranded in space, right? Maybe. Uh, wait a minute. Do I have anything left coming? Oh, this must be the, the, the planet that we were... Is this what we were in contact with? I thought there was somebody coming to get us. Either way, let's go ahead and drop down there. Everybody's starving, but their health is okay. So I'm going to assume that it means that they're not going to be dead by the time I, uh... By the time I, uh, come back to this. Yes! Okay, good. Everything's all banged up. Baby's still insane. Everybody's everybody's completely insane, but they are very loyal. Uh, the vessel got damaged and the communication console is in pieces. It will take me a while to calculate the optimal way of conducting repairs. For a while, for now, take a mo take in your surroundings. Uh, perhaps it will turn out to be some kind of mootopia. Did I just moo? What a weird glitch. I meant utopia, obviously. Okay, so everybody's hurt, and I don't have any med kits, which is probably something else that I should have thought about getting. But at the very least, we can give everybody uh, some food. The Rooney reactor needs regular coolant flush. Yeah, go ahead and begin the flushing process. Even though she's crazy. And hopefully that'll keep going. Everybody keep everybody going for just a few more days. I feel like this is not the best start. I feel like you really just need to stack up on resources and food. And kind of just like forget at least one or two crew members. Megan went the extra mile collecting residual coolant from the pipes. I don't know what that'll do. Uh, Megan found a clog and managed to rectify the situation that could have ended badly. Let the space colonization commence. Everybody's weak and hungry though. So it'll probably be up to me to get out there. Uh, one of the storage lockers is jammed. Use brains, I guess. Don't really have any other choices. What can we look at here? A swamp? A canyon? A desert? And a cave. Hazards? A hole in the ground. Well, that kind of just describes a cave, right? Oh... We do need science. Uh, so yeah, science and, um, Tom Thompson. Tom Thompson will go out there, and he will bring with him a mask. And probably not a ray gun. Actually, probably a ray gun. Well, there's no monsters out there, just radiation, so the mask should, uh, the mask should suffice for now. I'm using bronze to deal with the issue. Or I'm using brains. Sorry, <laughs> brains and bronze. They're they're kind of close together. It's just one letter removed, you know. Uh, but hey, the muscle, the the brain itself is a muscle, right? I'm sad to report you weren't able to unjam the locker. You had a lot of creative ideas, but none of them worked. Creative is a synonym of dumb, if my thesaurus subsystem is not mistaken. We lost access to the locker. Why couldn't we just get Baby Bronco to bash it open? Jeez. Okay, you should probably. Find some food unless you want to risk starving. Well, can't do anything about that. Uh, Captain, he's making for the airlock door and trying to force it open. Out with him. Like, that's going to do anything because we just failed an intelligence check. I am certain this time. This time, I'm sure. This time, I'm absolutely sure that my brain will be able to come up with something that will be able to stop that lumbering gorilla. Yep, yep. Baby was tugging at the airlock door when you started babbling at him about the risk of opening the airlock. As he pulled the inner door and flung it back in super-powered excitement, the metal bulk thwacked straight into your face. You were thrown back, and Baby seemed to snap out of his heroic hallucination. He apologized. Your friendly neighborhood Baby is back. At last. I can't secure any soup for anybody. We're all gonna die again. Uh, Sir, something has affected Backy, my backup AI module. Perhaps his interference with somewhere on this planet. Backy needs a reboot. He's overloading the fan system. Someone agile should leap up and... Hi, folks. It's too warm in this tin can and back. He's here to fix it. I'll become your biggest fan. Ha 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 ha. Well, who's good at... Uh, 
Okay, I'm stiff. Everybody's stiff. Everybody's stiff, pup, because they're so friggin' weak. Okay, well, it doesn't make a difference anymore, so there you go. Megan, you've been useful so far. You're gonna have to take on an a, a hostile AI all by yourself. Maybe if you yell at it enough through the, through the intercom, then maybe things will get better. I have faith in you, Megan. I have absolute faith in you. Don't let me down. Don't. Don't let me down. Don't let me... Don't let me down. I don't believe it. The game let me down. Well, uh, yeah, it froze. And I had to quit back to the main menu. I've been playing this for long enough anyway. But if you guys liked this series, or you want to see it made into a series, don't forget to leave a like. And I hope to revisit this once I uh, start learning the ins and outs of it. And remember, I am and will remain your captain, and I will see you on our next voyage. Bye bye.